them I'm always so sad The littlest things get me pissed off or mad My life's pretty good, no I don't have it bad So it's hard to explain all these feelings I have I'm just a baby, I think that explains Hello everybody Dang, I can't sit down How do you We're always... here, shut up <laughs> Episode 19 Uh, what podcast is this? The Centerfold Podcast I'm here with my co-host Keem. as always Keem Features Jamari Oaks, I call him Jamari Cause I, I can Yeah, you grew up doing I, that It'd be weird if I called him his other name It so. would, yeah or also, he's also known as Jabari. But anyway, I'm Andre. We're here. I'm going to be distracted tonight because NBA free agency opened, so I'm going to be looking at my phone a whole lot. Let's get into these topics. Let's go. All right, first topic is, bro. Tory Craig. All right, anyway. Uh, you going to talk about how you're a Pacers fan again? Because you know. Oh, um, I'm a Pacers fan again. It's like night and day. Pacers all day, baby. 2022 NBA championship. Let's go Pacers. We signed Tory Craig. We got TJ McConnell back. We lost Doug McDermott of the Spurs, but it's okay. Because we got Chris Duarte coming in to get some buckets off the bench, so it's fine. Chris Duarte, that name sounds from oh yeah. the twenty four year old. Yeah, the twenty four year old. You know who's also twenty four years old? Who is twenty four? Devin Booker. All right. That's you cool. know who's also drafted thirteen? Devin Booker. Yeah. So he has the potential. Chris Duarte has the potential. Be they, the uh, they they actually call him the the, the Dominican Clay. So. The Dominican Clay. Yes. I thought that was Juan Toscano. No no no, he's. First of all, he's from the Mexican League. Oh, I know. Juan Toscano Anderson, the Mexican League MVP. Mm. Yeah. Put on a clinic with a whopping mm. nine points in the playing game. Still better than, uh, who was that garbage player on the Nets that you like so much? On the Nets? Yeah. The, the little guard? Mike James or something? Mike James? Yeah, garbage. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm taking Juan Toscano Anderson over Mike James every day of the week. I do not care. Shout out my boy Juan Toscano Anderson. You're telling me Mike James would not be Juan Toscano in a one-on-one. Bro, Juan Toscano's got clamps. Bro, Mike James? And? Bro, his bone is a 5'10 guard. That is that is night and day, baby. Put that put that man in the post. Post hook. Take that man First for three. Three ball. You know, I, mean, I saw I saw this saw this video. And yeah. I mean, it's about Kyrie Irving. First of all, do you know how old Kyrie Irving is? How old? What do you think he is first? 31. He's 29 years old, dude. Really? He's not, he's not even in his 30s yet? Dude, I thought he was in his 30s. Yeah, like, so I thought he was like 32. Like, he, he just seems old. I swear he was up there with Curry, because Curry's yeah. 33 years old, dog. Uh, Greg Oden is younger than Steph Curry. Who is Greg Oden? Number two pick. Or n- number one pick, actually. Oh, but KD? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I remember that. He's dude. technically a bust, but I don't really call him a bust because his career got ruined by injuries. So, so who, what's the player you consider a bust, then? Uh, Anthony Bennett. Um... Darko Milicic. I mean, like, <laughs> they injuries didn't deter them from having a good career. They just sucked so badly. That, that that's what a bust is. I can shout out Sam Bowie, who was picked sometime. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, he was in. I think he was in the '96 draft, which was. Uh, I don't fuck. I, I can't remember. You playing? You talking about the '96 draft, yeah. dude? I don't, I don't know. Heck no, I don't know who that was. Uh, but uh, anyway, about Kyrie. Me- I was trying to think about what build Kyrie Irving is, bro. Is this man really not a three level scorer? Because someone I saw, I heard, I watched the video of someone saying he's a three, three level scorer. That makes sense to me. He can score at all three levels, so. I like. I wasn't like. Yeah, I mean, he's not locking anybody down on defense. I mean, he's not really playmaking like that, especially you know, since, since he has James Harden on the. I'm Netflix, not gonna lie to you. So. Three level score works. Do you even really see Kyrie Irving as a point guard though, and not just because of his size? I don't give a fuck about. Whatever. I don't give a fuck that James Harden's the, the main ball handler. Kyrie's a point guard. James Harden's the shooting guard. Let bygones be guy. Bygones be bygones. That is all there is to it. I'm not gonna lie to you, dog. I like Jay, I like shooting guard Kyrie Irving, dude. Well, he's not technically playing the shooting guard position. I mean, that's most positionless. But if you really, if you really just break it down, in my opinion, I like his scoring more than his playmaking. That's fine. So what do you like about Harden? His playmaking or his scoring more? Both. They kind of go hand in hand. I'm not gonna Maybe. lie. Hey, he'll put up 50 points and give you 20 assists too if he wants to. Then you have Kyrie, who'll just give you 50 shooting 90, percent which is fine. Which is, which is then you just, have KD, who just does it all pretty much. So, so would you consider KD a three level scorer then? Yeah. So what's K- the K- KD is like whatever he wants to be on any given night. I was just a superstar. I don't even think. Yeah. He, he he he. KD can't be like put down to like a specific build. That's that's crazy because yeah. like because I was thinking about because Kyrie. Kyrie's putting you in the post, mm-hmm. and he's six two by the way. Yeah. Kyrie's six two, putting someone in the post, like uh, who uh, scoring? He's shooting the three ball, and he's scoring from the mid range. That is the definition of three level scorer. So I'm just saying, is he like is Kyrie one of the most skilled basketball players of all time? Yeah. Do you think he is the most skilled of all time? 
Like, just name a player, like, skill-wise. Definitely when it comes to handle. Handle, he's sure. number one. Hand, he has the best handle of all one. time. But when you're, like, if you're, like, going straight off skill, I like, uh... I'm not talking about, like, I'm, 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 I'm talking, like, not just... You get what I'm saying, right? I like Hakeem. He, I mean, Hakeem's got to be up there, right? For what? Skill. One of the most skilled players of all time. Hakeem is definitely up there. Yeah. Huh. Um... I don't know. I I I don't, I don't know where do you, I don't know how you would rank it because like Kyrie and Hakeem do pretty much different things. I think they're the best at their position. They're the most skilled at their respective position. Sure. Yeah. Because I don't see no one in the summer trying to come work out with Shaq, bro. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, be, 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 because because Shaq was like he he was just pure. I'm gonna body you in the pain. You can't do anything about it. Yeah. Hakeem had like finesse. He had the he had the post. He had the he had the dream shake. The dream shake, dog. Yeah. When you mention Hakeem, you just gotta men- you just gotta mention the dream shake. Exactly. It, I, it just makes sense. I so like skilled big man. It's definitely Hakeem. Yeah, I, you could throw. It's with, Hakeem was center center, right? Mm, what? Hakeem Elijah Moore was center. Yeah. Yeah. So then you can probably go for the four position. The most skilled person was Tim, Tim Duncan. Yeah. And then the three. Braun. Skilled. Skilled. Braun. Just how? Because Katie has a better mid-range three ball and a better better handle. Braun is better at playmaking. And that's you, all you have. You could make the argument for defense if you really wanted to. Like uh, I, I mean, like peak for peak? Yeah, we can go peak for peak. So LeBron is a better defender than peak for peak. I mean, I never really... Uh, has Katie ever been a defensive player of the year conversation? Or? Nah, dude. Heck nah. Uh, LeBron could have and maybe possibly should have won in 2012. Was that when Marcus Gasol got it? Yeah. 12 or 13, something like that? So. I don't I don't think it was a bad choice. I think, I mean, I can but, see... But I, I, I wouldn't have a problem if you put KD there instead of LeBron. No, nah, I can see... And then the two... Jordan or Kobe if you wanted to. They're really interchangeable in my mind. They're, they're the in terms of skill. Yeah. And then the one. Uh, Kyrie. I'm going to go Kyrie Irving because I don't, I just. You, you can have Kyrie or if you're an old man, you can put Magic there if you really want to. But that nigga isn't shooting jumper. So. See, that's what I'm saying. Magic, Magic, what, bro? Magic not shooting jumper. That I, I, that's why I said if you're an old head. Are yeah. you an old head? Uh, I hope not to be yeah. an old head one day, dude. I, I'm, I might be an old head one day. You're going to be an old head. I'm going to be like, I'm gonna be like yeah. I, these things when we talk about who's the greatest, I'll be like, yeah, Bron's still the greatest. Get the fuck off me. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, yeah, I can see, I can see Brown and KD. I just love how the conversation now is. It just it, we went from we're gonna talk about topics. I mentioned Tory Craig, and then it just has devolved into basketball talk. <laughs> that's why I, I was kind of. That's what some of the shout out Tory Craig, man. And so I love how um I was gonna say something. God dang it, I lost my train of thought. Uh, I know it had to, I know it had to do with uh, basketball though. We can, we can talk about Chris Paul guy four million for. Uh, hey man, that that man that man's gonna be getting paid until he's forty. Do you know how badly that fucks the Suns? Like 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 they have they have all these young guys that they need to be paid at some point. Obviously they're gonna get Aiton back because of the bird rights, right? So they they still gotta play Mikael Bridges, who I assume they they're probably gonna want back because he brings defense and he's like the best defender on the team probably. Right? He is the best defender. He's the best defender on the team. Yes. And you're gonna and you're gonna want. You're probably gonna want Cam Johnson back because he brings shooting, and shooters get paid. I just saw Duncan Robinson get five years, ninety million dollars with the Heat. Yes, five years, ninety million dollars. So if you're if you're a knockdown shooter, you will get paid. I and, and Devin Durant just had the came off the best year of his career, and he got three years, forty two million with the Spurs. So Jesus Christ. Yeah, if you're a shooter, you're gonna get paid. So at some point, they're gonna have to pay these guys. And if you got freaking Chris Paul eating up one hundred twenty million dollars of that, forty years old, being a bum. You're gonna have some issues. Also, Cameron Payne got, I think he had what, what was it, two years and nineteen mil? I'm not too mad at that actually. Uh, that, they 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 gave that man like breadcrumbs compared to Chris Paul. I am not too mad at that because I, I would love to see what Cam what Cam's game could become mm-hmm. if he's playing with Chris Paul. I, some, I like I like I like Cam Payne. He, he used to be kind of a joke because like he, Okay, he, 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 he just wasn't good until he got to the Suns. And I still don't like I don't like how his jumper looks at all. <laughs> that, I don't, that, I don't like the thing I don't like about Cameron Payne is his shot selection. His shot his shot selection has been wild at times. Yeah, it it throw me off at times. Mm-hmm. Now someone who I don't Devin Booker. That's a well Devin Booker's allowed to take whatever shots he wants. Doesn't matter. No 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 no. I, no, I wasn't about that. Oh. I was just saying the way he was missing in the finals. Mm. Well, I, 
First finals, it happens. Yeah. No, I'm telling you. Next final Devin Booker gets to, he's not losing. That's fine. It might be a while, though. You think so? Yeah. You have all, you have all the players. You have all the players coming back. I think they'll make a run at some point after LeBron retires. You think so? Yeah. I love how people are trying to talk about how, like... Unless LeBron is, you know, hobbled him in the playoff again, then... Bro, people but, are, are really having conversations like... Oh, what's a 36-year-old LeBron? What's a 35-year-old LeBron going to do in the league? He's still LeBron James. What's a 36-year-old LeBron going to do in the league? I don't get it. What's a 37? You know, it's always funny. I always see um I always see it, it LeBron haters always they always they always go back and forth. It's either the team is trash like like when the guy was supposed to be like, "Oh, they're going to have no space, and they're going to be trash." And then all of a sudden when they start winning, it's that they're a super team. Which one is it? <laughs> I don't know actually. Like pick one and stick with it. You know, I saw this legend of winning. I think it was a video or a tweet. oh oh. Are you talking about the legend of win- the winning video about the the about the Lakers? Yeah, I, think I didn't even watch it because his takes be getting mm. me pissed off sometimes. Some of his see some of legend of winning's takes are they're great and mm-hmm. then some of them are kind of terrible. Mm-hmm. They're really just like but when he what I noticed about his consistency is whenever he makes on an argument it's a good point. Whenever he misses he's way off. Yeah, it's very it's odd. I don't, I don't mind it, but he said some. He said something about the Lakers and he about MJ and Kobe. I mean, my bad. MJ and LeBron. That actually made some kind of sense. Mm-hmm. He was saying that. Okay, think about. it. Remember that season, the Bulls Bulls play, and LeBron. I mean, no, and MJ left, and the Bulls were still a fifty plus win team. Yep. And they said uh, Jordan did, didn't make his teammates better. Well, that's not necessarily true. It's just they were and, just good enough. On and then every team LeBron left, they're like, oh yeah, LeBron makes his team better. And so the moment he leaves them, they become terrible. He was like, are the teams really becoming terrible, or do they just become dependent on him? Are they, he making the players better, or are they just, just dependent on him? It's kind of a little both, because the Cavs have literally not been to the playoffs since LeBron's left. And and LeBron, the last time LeBron was there, he was there for like, he was like three, four years. I feel like he can't become too dependent on him. Evan Fournier, so I, I four-year, 78 mil New York Knicks. Oh, also, I was about to say something about Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler just got a new contract, four years, $184 million. That means they're going to be paying Jimmy Butler $184 million until he's 38 years old. And I think that Jimmy Butler at some point in that contract is going to fall off a cliff, and he's going to have one of the worst contracts in the league. Which, you know what? The, uh, the Heat are going all in, so I guess that's fine. The what? The Heat. They're going all the way? They're going all in, as in like. Okay, okay. They're, okay. they're pushing all their chips in the middle, like, we've got to go for a championship now. Because they just got Kyle Lowry. Uh, so, you know. That's a nice pickup. It is. It won't do much because they're still losing to the Nets. Um, but, you know, the they're going all in. The Nets with Mike James? I'm telling you, Brooklyn lost that series because they didn't play Mike James enough, and they kept playing that weirdo with the thick headband. Talking about Bruce Brown? Bruce, Bruce Brown was solid. What are you talk- we watched the game, and you're like, this thing is solid. I know. I'm just hating. All right. <laughs> I'm just hating all right. right now. Okay. I, no, I'm just hating, bro. Because I really want Mike, I really want Mike James to do James one. Nick Batum, two year back to the Clippers. <coughs> I don't know. Have you, oh, now a new topic. Yeah. Have you seen that the baby situation? About him getting canceled? Yeah. He really. He he just doesn't give a fuck, honestly. Um, but you really can't be saying shit like that, to be honest. No, no. I ain't gonna. I bro. <laughs> I saw this thing on Twitter when it said the baby's gonna pull an Eminem and he's gonna perform with Lil Nas X. Because you remember back when Eminem got in that drama win. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. I, I imagine if it's just like all oh, a marketing ploy and they're going to fucking team up on a tracker. That, that, that'd, be, that'd be fucking genius. Dude, that, I wouldn't be... I, I, would, I, would, I would find it funny if it happened, but I wouldn't be too crazy. It would be incredible. Now, you know, what, you know what's going to happen soon, right? Dude, I promise you, Drake and Lil Nas X are going to collab on a song. And then once they collab... That should be fucking heat. And then okay. once they collab, Lil Nas X is just going to fall off. Is that what usually happens when people collab with Drake? A lot of the times, yeah, dude. Really? I did not know that. Lock Boy JB. Oh. Fetty Wap. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, man. That's a lot. Of, I can't. It's called the Drake effect, dude. That's crazy. Dude, once player, when, once people collab with Drake, they, they tend to fall off. Because Drake gets, because uh, cause Drake is always such, such a high name, high value name. If you're a rapper and you like, and Drake's like, Let's do a song song together. When you're at the peak, cause think about it. Uh, I think when Fetty Wap and Drake drop uh, "My Way," Trap King Trap King was booming. 
Mm. And then I think six, seven, nine just dropped. Mm. It's crazy. And I'm pretty sure they put out uh, My Way as a single. And uh, so when it came out, I'm not, my bad, yeah. Was it called My, my Way? I don't know. Honestly. Was it called My Way? Was it Drake? Let's drop? just say yes. Let's put a pin in it and just say yes for now. I can actually. You know. I'm I'm a fan of Lil Nas X. I, I like most of his songs, so you know. Also, he's a good Twitter follow. He's like, he's probably one of the most realist artists I've seen in recent memory, to be honest. Like, like it's just the way he like. He just seems like a person. Like he just constantly trolls on Twitter. I'm not. And it's funny. It's so funny. If I ever meet Lil Nas X, I truly don't think I'll be able to tell he was gay unless he was wearing something that would throw me off. Cause I'm I I I I've I've done a little bit of research on Lil Nas Nas X. Dude, he looks like a genuine dude. He does, yeah. He seems like a cool dude. And it's, on top of that, the fact that no one knew he was gay when he dropped Old Town Road, yeah. tell me how genuine he was. And, and 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 like he embedded stuff in the song too that made it, you know. I would I mean like you know. It's it's great. It's I mean, good, I, good I, I find it quite yeah. interesting whenever artists embed little secrets mm-hmm. in their songs. Like for example, Drake. Mm-hmm. About his kid. Or yep. Yep. I, I don't know. The, I, I was hoping you would know the lyrics. Yeah. I look. You blanked out. Uh, the, what, which which song was it? I don't know that much about Drake. So cut. Like, anyway, <laughs> just cut that out. <laughs> cut it out. Um. Uh. Also, Lil Nas X is a fucking marketing genius. If you didn't know, like, 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 like when he dropped the trailer for for the fucking industry baby song. He made it seem like he was about to get arrested because when he dropped the shoe, we were printing like the devil and shit like that. Remember when he dropped the fucking Nike shoe and people were getting pissed at like all the fucking yeah. like, conservatives shit were getting pissed off at him because he's gay and he's dropping a fucking shoe that has to do with the devil and shit like that. Whatever, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Uh, he basically um, made it seem like he, he was like tweeting about how he was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm about to get arrested for this shit. I'm about to go to court. And then he dropped the trailer for Industry Baby and it was it was him in court and he was like playing all the roles in it. So I was like, that's fucking his mark. His mar- his mar- he's got a marketing brain. It's, it's fucking incredible. Or his marketing team does it. I don't know who does it, but it's fucking incredible. So, you know? I mess with Lil Nas X, dude? Mm-hmm. That Drewski and Jack Harlow relationship is so good. I've, I've been looking up. I've been doing my research on Jack Harlow recently, mm-hmm. bro. I, we talked about. It, I, t- I talked about it a little, a little in the car. I was watching this interview. I forgot what it was about. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We'll read that out real quick, Andre. Free agent Derrick Rose has agreed to a three-year, forty-three million dollar deal to return to the Knicks. Why are y'all gassing D Rose? Why are we gassing D Rose? Solid money for D Rose. I mean, what? What is it? Let me let me do the math real quick. What's it? Forty-three <coughs> for three. It's Fourteen mil a year. Nothing too crazy. It, it ain't too crazy. I just don't know why we keep gassing D Rose. Like, I mean, fucking Duncan Robinson got five for ninety. So, uh, I saw the thing about D Rose. It was like, are you taking? Uh, it was prime D Rose and somebody else. Dude, I can't remember who it was. Hopefully, I'm I can... taking somebody else. Rob, right, really? Wait, who was it? Somebody else, though. Dude, I can't remember who. If it's John Stockton, I'm picking D Rose. John Stockton is overrated as hell. John Stockton? Yes. John Stockton's overrated. Yes. What made John Stockton? No left. Work? Other than that part. No left. Okay, and also, there's a conspiracy theory that the uh, when he when he was playing at home for the Jazz, they they would give him assists that shouldn't have happened. Like like when he passed the ball and somebody took like an extra dribble, so now it's not an assist anymore. But they gave him the assist anyway. Are you serious? Yes. It's a conspiracy theory. Huh. And I'm all in on it. So. I mean. Jazzbox is overrated as hell. Also, no rings. So. I would I would love to Also, see. he's an anti-vax. So, you know. See, here's an argument I want to make, but I can't make because I don't have any weight to stand on it. Uh-huh. If he was somewhere else, he wouldn't be that good. But he's never played anywhere else. So what? True. He's also never played with, uh, you know, the fucking. The male. Mm-hmm. Uh, beep. So, you know. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't. We like don't. Uh, we don't acknowledge him here. Fuck that dude. Yeah, so it's hard. It's hard to make argument. Be like, well, people, but he had he had his own team. Like, we have no. If he had no, his own team, it would be a dumpster fire. Honestly. I just don't like if you just if you just think about it, right? Because how 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 we got to think, right? He played solid defense and stole the ball. He's you know he's the st- NBA steals leader all time, whatever. And then he assisted. So if he was on his own team, they're not going anywhere. In fact, see, I gotta go to basketball reference now. This is just a fun. I don't. Even, I don't even see John Stockton as a defender. Have you watched? Like I watched. I mean, he, 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 he's probably like one of those pesky defenders, like a. Like, like he probably was on like on like a Gary Payton level, like lock you down, but no. like he was like a pesky defender, like maybe like a. I would say, or something. Like dude, that. I would say I wouldn't even say pesky defender, because a yeah, I would, a pesky defender. I would say somebody like uh, who's just like they're not good at defense. 
but they can stay in front of you. And they stay in front of you so much, it's going to throw you off. Like, you, they probably won't be able to steal the ball timing or block a shot or really contest your shot, but they can stay in front of you and slide their feet. Highest points per game he scored was 17. Bro, he really wasn't doing anything. Highest assist he scored. Okay, look at those fucking assist numbers, though. Jesus. Holy freaking Christ. <laughs> the nigga was pat moving. He was 13.8, 13.6, 14.5, 14.2, 13.7, 12, 12.6, 12.3, and 11.2. Jesus. That nigga, was, he was moving that bitch. <laughs> hey, uh, John Stockton is still overrated, but that, those are some. That is some shit right there. <laughs> that is some <laughs> shit right there. Holy. I would love to play with him, dog. Yeah. That nigga just fucking dishing that shit off. Nah, but uh, I, I, I had a thought I was going to say about John Stockton. Oh, he might be like a a system defender, dude. Maybe he... I, I think he's only good at playing defense in the system they had. I can see that. Because think about the guards he was guarding. Yeah, you tell me if he was staying in front of fucking Penny Hardaway. No. He was, I, think, I think they had a system. It was probably just like a team defense type thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like... Uh, I don't know, but like you know, I play, I like, I play pick up, pick up all the time. You know when you're on a team with like that's like full of defenders, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden you gotta like kick up your defender role for yep. some reason. Like when we was at the court playing, and I had to become a defender for some reason, yep. and that should never be a thing. Yeah, it was like one of those those things. So and, you just gotta be a defender. Yeah, but then you know when you're playing on a team and you're like, oh snap, I'm the defensive liability. Mm-hmm. Then you can notice your teammates that kind of help off. They're extra aware of whenever the ball is coming in your your way. Mm-hmm. But not to say that's like bad. It's just sometimes it's actually a height difference. Yeah, that Which, um, I can also make the same. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, a defense is so terrible that a single player could actually lift up a team. As I watched nothing but Indiana Pacers basketball last season, I watched it on full display. As the Pacers were fucking awful on defense last year, but you had Miles Turner in there who actually made our defense passable. When they get averaging like five blocks a game, he was averaging ridiculous amount of blocks. He's he was the block leader for the second year in a row. Didn't make an all defensive team. For the second year in a row, which is the only time that has happened to the all t- or freaking shot block leader in a season in back to back years, but you know, so. again, the media are not pushing the correct players. But we get it's all about big markets in the NBA. Yep, keep shoving Jimmy Butler in my face like Donovan Mitchell did. It wasn't leading his team to the number one seed, but I, I get to see Jimmy Butler making a a first team All NBA. Jason Tatum didn't make an All All NBA team. Mm-hmm. And I promise but you, but Jimmy Butler did. Yes, Jimmy Butler made it. That dude. is insane. Oh. It, 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 it's always the media that's just pushing these BS narratives for no fucking reason. The media has no idea what they're talking about when it comes to that. Well, they shouldn't have the vote. Give it to the players or something because it's getting stupid. We talk. We talk about. Get a fuck around before Taco Fall become MVP, dog. Okay. <laughs> no, no way. Players are that stupid. Come on. No, bro, like the people talking about Jokic had the quietest MVP season. That's because. That nigga is never on the camera. Yeah, that, that nigga's in Denver. No, niggas, no, the media doesn't give a fuck about Denver. Niggas think his first name is Jokic. <laughs> it's not. That's it's like that's, it's like the uh, the Obama thing. Yes. People think his first name is Obama. Like, bro, like, what's what's Obama's first last name? What? Nigga, <laughs> Barack. Obama Barack. You're not making no fucking sense, bro. I'm trying to side with you, but fucking Christ. <laughs> Let me to keep pushing these whack players, bro. Like, keep tell, keep talking to me about how Ben Simmons can't shoot. I'll eat it up. Yeah. Now let's talk about how Lonzo got a whole new jump shot in three years. Lonzo's on the Bulls now. Lonzo got a whole new jump shot, and the only way I found out about it was because of House of Highlights. Mm-hmm. Because the media kept talking about how Ben Simmons couldn't shoot, and Ben Simmons, Simmons that, and, yeah. and Zion this, and Lamelo that. But we're not going to talk about how someone reconstructed. When is the last time you see someone reconstruct their jump shot in a in a two in two months? I don't think it's ever been done. I'm trying to think. Sean Marion kept that bit. Yeah, he, he kept that bit, but it was dropping. So that it bit was matter. going in. Yeah. And he was there for defense. Uh-huh. That, that, bro, I'm telling you right now, that boy, if you want to talk about talk about a team that's been, uh, uh, that was created around somebody, I was going to say last time we seen that and they actually went somewhere. 2011 Mavericks. All right, nigga, damn, right in my mind. Yeah. You know, I, I would say I it's mean, safe. Because Dirk wasn't playing any defense, so you got Tyson Chandler, defense player of the year in there. You get Sean Marion to play some defense. Jason Terry, he's the game to off the bench. J.J. Bryas, who's nice off the bench. I mean, it was just a perfect team for Dirk to succeed. So that's just how it goes. And it was like, that's such a beautiful story, too. Like, you've had the super team, like, mm-hmm. yeah, all right. Yeah, and meanwhile, uh, the Mavericks have done nothing for Luka so far in the free agency. Do you, do you know who they signed so far? Uh, Can I guess, actually? Go for it. You won't, but go for it. Uh, they signed two players so far. A guard or a big, big man? Two guards. Thanks, man. They didn't sign no good. I don't care. They have signed Reggie Bullock, 
who's a solid shooter, solid defender. He was, he was on my Knicks last year. He was real solid. He was. I, wa- I watched him. He was doing. He was playing pretty good. De- I yeah. saw a couple, couple of times they had to actually put him on Trey Trey Young. And then they signed Sterling Brown. Do you know who Sterling Brown is? Yeah, dude. Okay. Well, apparently he, a hit, Yes, he shot uh, just as well as Steph Curry from the three point line and the free throw line. So, but 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 but, but like he like like you need more. Maybe get like a secondary ball handler if it's still possible. If there's somebody out there to get, <coughs> maybe get Reggie Jackson was good in the playoffs last year. Maybe try to he he probably won't come to Dallas, but you know. <coughs> oh my gosh. You saw like Kawhi turn down his player shit. It does. I don't think it matters too much. I think he's going back to the Clippers. Regardless. He's probably just going to get like a different deal, reconstruct it, you know, because he wants to be in LA. And he's not going to. I'm try- I was trying to tell people that Kawhi loves LA. Dude. He's yeah. Kawhi ain't going nowhere. Y'all it, can it, it's, it's really where he grew up. He's, he's going to stay in. LA. He is staying. Kawhi yeah. ain't going nowhere. I think Diva really wants to bring a ring to Phoenix. I think he has, he's got a good chance, you know. I think yeah, either the chance he has is pretty good, dude. I'm not going to lie, like like. Like once he gets like his like his prime prime, which is like twenty six, like twenty nine, that, that that that's where he has the best chance, you know. I think. So whatever I just got sent, Jesus Christ. What was it? It was nothing. We just I think, keep talking about the NBA. Hmm? We just keep we just keep going on the NBA. Well, that's what a lot of the topics were today. I'm not gonna lie to you. Alex Caruso, four year, thirty seven million to the Bulls. So you hold on, the Bulls are they making a little playoff push, Andre. That they that could be. The way the Bulls are moving, Zach Levine probably went in that office and was like, I'm not fucking playing until I get some fucking players. Also, congrats to freaking Alex Russo for getting a bag. Who? Alex Caruso. Air Russo? Yeah. Speaking of Air. I mean, he's off the Lakers, so he probably won't get as much fucking coverage as he did. Literally, no joke, on Bleacher Report, bro, I saw... I I went back and I I was scrolling. I, I saw 10 Alex Caruso posts, and the Pacers had two posts in the same time span. Fuck. <laughs> they, they do not give a fuck about small markets at all. They don't, which is really... <laughs> it's flawed. It's a, The NBA system is flawed. Uh, the NFL does it right, though, so... And, uh, NFL hasn't talked about enough, dude. Yeah. But I feel like basketball is like... I heard this in a shout-out 1v1 Hoops. Uh, that's my guy. He watches this. I hope he watches this. Uh, he was telling me about it earlier. I, I, was listening to, I was listening to his little snippets he put out. Just, now, just bear with me. Does this make... It made, it made sense. Basketball is one of the only sports you can play by yourself. Like, really think and work on your game. Like, think about it. So I think that's why a lot, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of people can play basketball. Like, oh, I need a handle? Let me just go outside and dribble. Oh, I need to work on you my You can game. make the argument for soccer. Soccer, too. Yeah. Soccer, too. Soccer, basketball. You could also make the argument for hockey if you really wanted to. Ho- but the hockey market is really small. Cause I, I, just, I just started watching hockey, and the... Whenever I'd be like, I watch hockey, niggas look at me weird, but maybe it's just because I'm where I am. Because we're in Jacksonville. Nobody watches fucking hockey in Jacksonville, bro. Dude, so I think it's just why. I think if I was to go up, like, I wouldn't, that's why I want to go to, like, a hockey game. Although, the, the, for the fucking new Seattle team, those jerseys look fire. I might cop one. It's pretty aesthetic. Dude, I'm going to get an Oilers jersey. Oils? O- Oilers or whatever? Mm-hmm. Where are they looking? They're on the fucking... I, uh, I don't fucking know. Okay. Yeah, I, just, I, just, I just watch it. Like, I don't even know who to like, what to like, what team to like. I know that I'm entertained, though. I, I, I like how they, they how they have like multiple expansion teams in the last couple of years. I, I really want the NBA and the NFL to start expanding other places. I, I need a Seattle team back for NBA. This 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 is my proposal, right? You get you get um you get a, a Vegas team, right? And then you get a Seattle team. So you have two back out west, and you go back east. You get v- Virginia Beach because fun fact, Virginia Beach is the largest city without any sports team whatsoever. And then you could get a team in Pittsburgh, and then you have two out east, and now, and then maybe you could add some more in, I don't really know, maybe you could put one in Baltimore if you really wanted to, get one another one in Kentucky, so then you have four out east, and go back west, you could do, Jesus, there's really not much out west. Um, Damn, Dre, <laughs> nigga, nigga just gave us a geography lesson. Like, nigga, we're gonna put a team, you gotta put a fucking team in Iowa? I mean, in my head, I was, I was, I was technically Midwest, though, if you're looking. I mean, you have me. I, I'm the Virginia Beast Beastia Morphs. The what? Virginia Beast Beastia Morphs. That don't sound like a bad team. What the fuck is a Beastia Morph? Uh, I don't really know what the fuck. Uh, I played a game and I saw a Beastia Morph. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Virginia Beach. But uh, Vegas needs an NBA basketball team, in my opinion. Like, like the most, like, like right next to Seattle, it Las Vegas needs one because, like, 
Las Vegas is just, just where it's at, straight up. They, they, already got, they already got a football team back, so I feel like they need a basketball team next. They, they already have a WNBA team, the Las Vegas Aces, so might as well, uh, you know, get an NBA team going down there. I'm not, I'm not too thrown off by that, but this has been one of the most boring summers of music. I would say boring summers of music, but this summer kind of went by quick. I don't know why. So before I go back to school, I'm gonna need some happy. I'm gonna need something to happen because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to school. See, like hope- nobody dropping in the time frame before. <coughs> nobody dropping anything. No, I don't think so. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I didn't realize how depressed I was in college until I just recently was just sitting in my room and looking at the sky, well, the ceiling, and I was like, oh my gosh, I was mad depressed. Oh my gosh, this must be what Cairo does on a daily basis. He was mad disrespectful. Like, I remember, I, 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 I had a schedule, dude. I would go home. And so basically, uh, let's say let's say it was a, a Monday, which is a rehearsal day. Mm-hmm. I, would, I had class at eight, so I would had a class from eight to nine. And then once that clock, and then I had class from nine ten, uh, to ten. So then I had a gap from ten to two before I go to some before I go to rehearsal for one of for one of my groups. So but from ten ten to, from ten to one, I would hoop though, and this is back in October. Cause every cause during COVID, everything closed down in October, mm-hmm. except Bailey's gym, and so everybody around Jacksonville was literally coming to the beach. I mean, it was so it was so so deep. You've been to Bailey's? It's not even that big of a gym. There were people outside, dude. Jeez. That's why that's when my game like really like when you was there. That's when my game had to get up because when you got out that court, you weren't playing again. Cause I mean, it was just like seven next, dude. It's crazy. At one o'clock, it'd be seven next. So there be days, bro. I get on a ten and I, I leave at one, knowing I just went eight in a row, cause I only draft fucking winners on my team. Mm-hmm. If I'm playing, if I'm playing pickup and it's deep, hey, you wanna have a run? Nah, this serious mode. Nah, I can't get you. I will just be like, I already got five. They be like, and I hate when I tell, I hate when I when I try to lie and say I already got five, and they're like, who? Like nigga, does it matter? <laughs> does it matter who my five are? Uh, <laughs> you not a part of it? Why is you asking me, dog? Move, bro. Dang. I be getting so I be like, oh my, I be like, and I be like. Him, 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 him. Oh, I guess he went. I guess bro left. He was like, oh, so you got room? No. Damn, nigga. Damn. You niggas out here trying to fucking get on the bandwagon. I'm like, like bro, I guess I got one. It sucks, but like, ah, Jesus. I just, I just have one more NBA thing. Go ahead, go ahead. I know these niggas get, probably get, these niggas probably getting tired of it, whatever. But have you seen what the fucking, what the Sixers are asking for for Ben Simmons? Mm-mm. They're asking for a... KG Paul Pierce type of compensation. What the fuck does that even mean? Multiple picks. First round, like multiple first rounders. And on top of those multiple first rounders, they also want a all-star level type player in return. Well, Ben Simmons isn't an all-star. That's an average ass nigga. I mean, he is an all-star, but that is, they think this nigga is the greatest player of all time because nobody, Harden wasn't even worth that much. I mean, Harden went for what? Jared Allen, Karis LeVert, and a couple of picks? Like come like come on dog, come on. Fucking ridiculous. I have a Jesus. Hey, uh huh. Right, sorry for the hard cut. <laughs> we had to fix something, but what would you? If you're the, what are you doing, dog? Yeah. You're, you're the you're the GM for the 76ers. Hmm. What are you doing for Ben Simmons? That's logical and that can that can actually go down. So I'm so I'm in the brain of Daryl Morey now. Yes. I am the Sixers GM. And if I was to trade Ben Simmons, I would have tried to get Kyle Lowry in a sign and trade. Maybe throw in Ben Simmons. They give me back Kyle Lowry, and maybe I try to get Gary Trent Jr. Although Gary Trent Jr. was a free agent, so I guess that really wouldn't work as a sign and trade because because you can't add like extra things in a sign and trade. Um, I, I also don't think the Raptors would have done that. Maybe I try for Dame. I doubt that also goes through. But they could have had Harden. They just decided not to. I guess. Um, I think the most logical option, probably, uh, maybe check out the Wizards. I mean, be, because I know I know Bradley Beal says he doesn't want to leave, but like if you if you give him Ben Simmons, Tyrese Maxey, and maybe throw in a pick or two, yeah. I think I, I think the Wizards I think the Wizards would take that. Who's that player I like from the uh, Clippers that I was like game one when I saw him? I was like, who is this player? Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann, boy. Now this may be crazy. I see so much potential in Terrence Mann. Like when I say I like when I say I see potential in Terrence Mann, I see a little bit of him in him. Who? Kelly. 
No, 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 no. Okay, I'm trolling. I just want, I just want to say that. Okay, okay. I see the amount of potential that I saw in Jason Tatum and Terrence Mann. That is high praise for Terrence Mann. Like, ridiculously well, high praise Like, for I see him being a little better than Reggie Jackson, dude. My bad, Drew Holiday. I meant Drew Holiday. Really? Think about it. He saw it on the defensive end. His, his arms are lengthy. Uh-huh. He wasn't... These niggas put on a fucking high reel for Alex Caruso. <laughs> you truly cannot make this shit up. Nah. <laughs> you just can't. He, he was... Like, who was he guarding? <clears throat> oh my gosh. Who was he guarding in the playoffs? Uh, with the... I think he was guarding Paul or... Or Book. Was he guarding CB3? I think he was, but... Shit didn't fucking matter because the niggas got sent home. Okay, that's cool and all. But, I just want to... The way he can move... I think he give me a really good play if he's on the right team in the right place. That's fine. I can accept that. I like a lot of play. A lot of, see, there are a lot of players that I like... Like Shy and uh, Darren, Darren Fox. I just want to see them blossom into this all-star player. Darren Fox is pretty much already all-star level. That nigga's just on the king. So, <laughs> like... <laughs> what? First what are you going to do? You was even surprised when I told you uh, De'Aaron Fox was average, average damage. Exactly, I because I honestly forgot the Kings existed. De'Aaron Fox averaged 27, 5, and 5, I'm pretty sure. Like, 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 like outside from checking up on Tyrese Halliburton, because that's my dog, I don't really look at the Kings, like, at all. I, so I, I was genuinely surprised when I saw freaking De'Aaron Fox put up 25 a game. Jesus. It's yeah, crazy. shocked me too, but... Uh, Back to back to music. What what artist do you think you don't want to hear some music from? We'll say it on three. One, two, three. Drake. Lil Dicky. Lil Dicky. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I need Drake to drop. I also need Lil Dicky to drop. But 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 I think Drake is gonna drop sooner than Lil Dicky. So that's why I said Drake before I said Lil Dicky. You know what I'm saying? Because Lil Dicky's all in on the show. Even though he says he's working on that, every time somebody asks, I do not believe that dude. That nigga is lying to us all. And that nigga's put on a straight face and he's like, yeah, I'm dropping an album soon. Dude, have you been keeping up with Dave? I I haven't watched the episodes after they come out. They're f- it's whatever. I I I just I whenever I watch a show, I just turn my brain off and try not to think too hard about it because I don't give a fuck. So, dude, it's like, little Dicky man, you're a goat, but like Jesus Christ, bro, can I just have something good? It's like it's like Tyrell levels of stalling, but at least he's actually putting out content like a show. But like it's like Tyrell levels of stalling with, with the fucking album drop here. Like come on, it's it's like Tyrell like. Like, Lil Dicky, last album you had was put out in, like, 2015. You had uh, Snoop Dogg on it. It's been half a fucking decade. You had Fetty Wap. Jesus Christ. You had Fetty Wap on it, which which was good. Yep. Uh, and then you dropped that fucking bullshit earth shit. That blows my mind that he actually put it. I remember when that dropped. I was fucking hyped. I was like, I, I, I had no idea what the fuck it was going to be. I was like, I was looking. I was like, oh, that shit's 10 minutes. I watched it. I'm like, the fuck is this? And then he had a feature on Justin Bieber Bieber's album. Yep. That wasn't... It wasn't too bad. But it was just like... Okay, this is what we got. Where's the... Where's the rest of the music at? Mm-hmm. Like... Mm-hmm. Like... Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh! And next week, we will have one of our first guests on the podcast. Really? Yeah, I don't know I didn't who. even know that. Oh. Oh, you don't even know. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I didn't know. I just know next week we're going to have a guest. I don't know who. So, I'm going to post this. And I guess some people just DM me back. I have an idea who I wanted to be. JaVel McGee, one year, $5 million to the Suns. We got JaVel McGee? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's a nice backup big. Oh, I, I, you know, I, I kind of I miss those those beef shacks you used to have with teams. Like, remember the whole Twitter beef he had with uh, Damian Lillard? No, actually. Dude, they dropped tracks on each other. Jesus Christ. I'm never going to check that out in my entire life, ever. <sighs> Damian, I'm going to tell you about that. Damian... Top three rappers in the NBA that can actually rap and sound good. Give me, give me Lonzo. Lonzo is the best rapper in the NBA. Yeah. He don't. I'll, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll take Anthony Edwards over Dame too. Bro, Dame got that like old school to his music. Not to diss it, but and the, and the best singer in the NBA is obviously Victor Oladipo. So, well, let's just talk music and artists. You got Lonzo over Victor Oladipo. Now let's be real. Can I have them collab first, and then I could get back to you? I'll try to put their voices in my head. Then. Hey, Lonzo and Victor Oladipo, we hey, might man. need a track together. Bro, drop a track straight up. Bro, B, B, cause what's that? Connected. She already know I connected. Boy, that shit hard. We might I ain't gonna, you wanna mess with? 
No more whole cards connected. There's no way it's copyrighted. You, you may have to drop a snippet of that in, the, in, this, in, this, in this podcast. I'm going to have to put that in a little yeah. intro song. Actually, I was going to put So What by Pink now. So, I've been going back and listening to some Pink Dog. Pink used to go mad hard for no reason. Remember that song you had on uh, Just Dance 4? We used to do it all the time. So what? I'm, I'm still, still a rock star. star. I, I got a rock move. <laughs> and yeah, I don't that was actually probably copyrighted, so we should stop. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Pink, did you ever listen to Kesha, bro? Mm. Key dollar sign ha? No. What is wrong with no one? <laughs> <laughs> what? Key dollar sign ha? Huh? That's what it is. Oh, it's K E dollar sign H A. I don't I don't understand what the fucking what's the what's the issue. So we know who was making music from like 2008 to 2012. It was Kesha and Pink. K e dollar sign huh? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, Pink is way better than Kesha. Yeah, I can believe. I honestly don't. Cause I cannot name you a key dollar sign ha huh song at all. This place about the blah. What? Uh, 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 that sounds blah. familiar. See, if it's not ingrained in my brain, I don't give a fuck. I'm, remember Cher Lloyd, that little run she had? No. I'm going to play some Cher Lloyd, Lloyd in the car, bro. She had, she had a little run. Singing and then the shit. I had, every, bro, every guy got that one song that he listened to that is like, you don't want to listen to, to, to this around your boys, but it's like, ooh, when that song Or yours. Huh? Or yours. That's all of my music. Ah, oh, fair enough. I, mean, I can't even listen to the 50s music without getting criticized. Uh, you, you listen to fucking show tunes? Bro, the, I just like the riffs in them, dude. I, I, I fucking listen to show tunes. Like, fucking, I, I'll fucking put on some, um, I'll also put on some La La Land, you know what I'm saying? I'll put on, um, fucking, fucking, um, um. Any of the journals? No. Oh. Movie? TV show? Uh, it's a movie in a Broadway production. Cats. I can't. Cats. Nope. Chicago. Cats. The fuck? No, not Chicago. Chicago's the band I listen to, though. Fucking John Travolta. Um, shit. Just keep talking. I remember it. Uh, was it the movie we watched, Pulp Fiction? No, that had no music in it, Jamari. Um, fucking. Uh, Can't think of it. It's dead. Grease. Grease. You know. Fun fact: I've seen Grease. It's fucking fantastic. I saw Grease in my ninth grade class. It's fucking fantastic, isn't it? Um, I don't remember that well, dude. It's basically uh, the message of the movie is fucking change your conform and you'll get the person you want. I'm lying. Which I thought is a fucking I, horrible ass message, but it's still a great movie. So I just lied to you. I meant West Side Story. West Side Story. Yeah, they're, they're coming out with a new West Side Story. I'm imagining. I'll be interested in that. I'll, I'll definitely be tuning in for sure. Yeah. I will be interested in seeing a West Side Story. West Side Story. I don't remember too well, but I know people will try to dress like them nowadays, and I kind of weird. I have no comment. What song do they have in West Side Story? I don't fucking know. Oh. I, I'm not. I'm not as uh, in tune with what I swear as I'm in others. You watch Glee, bro? No. I would like to. You know, I like to have my time laid out and not just fucking wasted on a fucking pointless show like Glee. So. Well, I was watching Glee when I was wasting my time dating that one girl. Mm-hmm. So. I don't know one watches this. I got to that part because. Bro, I legit no joke. This is a true funny story. So my sister was watching that show, and I just stopped in to like peek and see what's going on with the show. The show was fucking garbage. Out of fucking nowhere, though. They go on, the school goes on lockdown because there's a fucking school shooter. That is a fucking real life episode. It was fucking insane. I was laughing the entire time because it was just so fucking incredibly unrealistic and stupid. But, um. Go, a school going, going on lockdown? Yes. Corey Joseph, two year, $10 million deal with the Pistons. Who gives a fuck? I also, Corey Joseph was a solid pacer. So. Yeah. Uh, what else? Also, the Pistons signed Kelly Olynyk for like three years. I, don't I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. What the fuck the Pistons are doing? Uh, what was I gonna say though? Um, we should wrap we, up soon. Yeah, we were talking about Pink. How Pink is so dominant. Uh, oh, the only person I wouldn't say Pink is better than had a better better run was Adele. I was gonna talk about her too. Mm. I was gonna say Katy Perry. Oh yeah, boy, there was a point. Katy Perry has some fucking. B- b- bangers, <laughs> bangers, <laughs> bangers. <laughs> You're gonna hear me roll. Bro. Uh, 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 uh. Fucking uh, Daisy Duke's bikinis on top. Hello, I can't remember the name of the fucking song, but it's just the album cover where she's on a cloud and she's naked. That uh, one. Uh, 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 California girls, girls are the ghetto. Ghetto. That's Daisy hard. Daisy Duke's bikini. On top. This is all copyright. This is always gonna have to get fucking 
No, bro, bleeped out. There was a run where Katy Perry would drop a song and that bitch was not trash. Was remember, remember, when she, remember when she did the Super Bowl performance? Did you watch that? Mm-mm. Of course you fucking didn't, god damn it. Who How do you think? miss the Super Bowl halftime shows? I watch them every year regardless of who it is. So who do you think had the best Super Bowl performance? Michael Jackson. I love Michael Jackson, but you think Michael Jackson had a better halftime performance than Bruno Mars? Are you serious right now? I'm telling you right now, Bruno Mars. Are you serious? I'm so serious. You're being dead ass. You can put The weekend in there, too. Nigga. Oh, no way. We, we might have to watch him again. Dude, there's no one that outperforms Michael Jackson at any point. I don't care. Point period, period, point period blank. But you're saying that. It just, just doesn't fucking happen. That's because his name is Michael Jackson. That's exactly. I, that. I don't like exactly. that. That's not an argument. I don't give a fuck. It is an argument. No. Yeah, you know, yo, yeah, yeah. You got to fucking deal with it. Yeah. Nigga, that's not no argument. Yes, it is. Nigga, fuck that. It's Michael Jackson. That's that. Literally, that's the end of the argument. It's Michael Jackson. It's over. He can have second place if he wants to, though. No, that's for sure. Although, although, I'll give second place to when uh, fucking Michael Jackson's sister boob fell out on national television. Huh? Janet Jackson? Yeah. I might look that up, though. <laughs> There's I didn't, no point. I didn't know that. Oh, it's not in. She flat chested? Bird chested? I don't know how to answer that question. You ever grab some bird chested boobs? Um, I have not. I feel like I'm like grabbing a nigga. Like, when a nigga posts, like, Hold on, like, you know when, hold <laughs> wait a minute. You ever been, like, trying to run, run a route, and, like, you get jammed at the line, but, like, I was doing a jamming? That's what it feel like, because I ain't got nothing, so it's just... You're a fucking terrible corner, but, yeah, I get it. I'm a terrible corner? Yes. Okay, 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 I'm fine. Go ahead, hey, just... we have to get, we, we need to get this show on video, because for some reason you think you're incredible at football, when you're fucking not. Look, I'll tell you, tell you, tell you, tell you this right now. Recreational football? I'm cool. I'm actually... T- I'm hard. No, you're not. Now, wait. But when we play an actual league and a team, I'll tell you right now. I We could have... the team Okay, cool. I'm talking about me and you one-on-one. You be corner. I'll be right to see you. I will, I'll, I'll catch the ball about 90% of the time, except for when I can't catch the ball because my, I'm fuck, I'm a trash receiver these days. So, if we do five throws... The, on, the only time... The only time I'll get an incompletion it will have nothing to do with you or will have everything to do with me. Because I can't fucking catch anymore. That's and that's not that's not not, not 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 that's not true. It is. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm a good cornerback, but all You're I'm not. gonna say is this. This 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 is what I'll say about my cornerback skills. If we do no five is too many. If we do eight throws. This thing is that fuck. If we do eight throws, mm-hmm. I'm confident you'll catch a solid four. Out of eight. And I'll stop you. Nigga, I'm catching six plus. No, yes. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm catching six plus. You'll catch four because you're probably gonna do my ankles in on one of them, and you're gonna catch it. The other three, you might just rob the me. The other up. three are gonna be fucking jump balls, and I'm gonna catch it over your head like this. See, that's not gonna happen. It is. Now I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna stop you. I'm probably gonna get two and in, two interceptions, one block, and, and this is gonna be a fucked up pass. You're gonna that see, the only time that that you'll get like something from it is because the, the the pass looks like gonna be fucking dog shit. That that's the that's the only way I see you getting anything. Why, why y'all like these hands weren't certified? Weren't certified? Certified to do what? Play the violin? All right, nigga. Right, yeah, right, right nigga. Yeah, up. nigga. Go ahead and podcast up because you lost me. You, you notice how All right, you everybody. <laughs> that was episode 19 of the Cinefold Podcast. We'll be back next time with a guest, apparently. So oh, next uh, week. Next, next week. Next week. My bad. Next week. Tune in. We'll have a fucking guest. When does this come out? Thursday? This will be out tomorrow. This will be out tomorrow? All right, never mind. I don't know, I don't know the fucking schedule, I guess. Didn't you pull it out today? Hmm? You put on one t- did you put on I put that one out because the one we had was two it was like twenty five to five minutes. Oh, okay. So I that's, okay, that's fair. Uh that's um Jam- uh, what's your name? Keen Features. I'm Andre. I'm Huey Lewis, and that was the news. Why does this nigga yeah. do this every fucking time, bro? If you ain't it up, why